All right, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you why you need to get an ND filter for your camera. In my opinion, it is the most important filter that you can buy for your camera because it will allow you to get good exposure in broad daylight. If you vlog, shoot outside, or even shoot indoors with your blinds open like I do, then you need to get one if you wanna get good exposure for your videos. What's up everybody, Issa here, and today I'm gonna to review my KNF Concept one to five stop variable ND filter. And I'll go over why you should pick up this filter for yourself. Sound cool? All right, let's go. All right, so first let's start off by going over how an ND filter works. So an ND filter will help you to get good exposure during the day without having to change the settings on your camera. So you won't have to raise your aperture too much because the ND filter will act as a shade which will allow you to get good exposure even if you have a very low aperture letting in a lot of light or a very low shutter speed and yeah an easy way to think about how an ND filter works is that it basically acts like sunglasses for your camera so you know when you put on sunglasses the shade from the sunglasses makes everything darker so it's easier to see when it's very very bright outside the same thing goes for your camera so the ND filter that you put on your camera, depending on how much ND your filter has, it'll make your camera darker according to that. And that'll allow you to get better exposure in broad daylight because it can be too bright and you know, your camera ends up getting overexposed. So an ND filter can make it easier for the camera to see you through the lens, just like sunglasses can make it easier for you to see everything around you with your eyes. So I I hope this analogy kind of makes sense but yeah that's just a very easy a very simple way of thinking about how an ND filter works it's pretty simple in my opinion but yeah if you record outside you know you vlog or you do talking head videos outside like I do because I like to get different shots sometimes to make my videos more interesting or even if you record inside like I am right now I have my windows open and especially you know in the morning and in the afternoon it's very bright outside so there's a lot of light coming in and you know having an ND filter is necessary since I always keep my blinds open I keep the natural light coming in because even when I'm recording inside in my bedroom like I am right now I'll still get overexposed footage if I don't put an ND filter on. So yeah, having an ND filter really, really helps me, you know, so I can keep the aperture as low as possible. Like sure, I could get away with not using an ND filter, but I would have to turn my aperture way up to like F8 or something. And yeah, I wouldn't get the background blur or the shallow depth of field that I have right now if I turned it up that high. So it's very nice that this ND filter allows me to keep my aperture low a lot of times. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about my ND filter from KNF Concept and I'll go over the pros and cons of it. So starting off with the pros of my KNF Concept one to five stop variable ND filter. The first one is that I can use this filter and um, stack it with all of KNF Concept's other filters. So if you watched my last video, then you would know that I also have a black mist filter and with this variable ND ND filter I screwed a black mist filter onto my camera and I can screw this variable ND filter on top of that so I don't have to choose between one of the filters or the other I can use both of them and that's very very nice because you know I like that black mist filter for that stylistic look and then obviously I use this ND filter to get you know good exposure for my videos. So it's nice that I can use both that once. Also the one to five stops or in other words, the ND2 to ND32 range covers a lot of the neutral density that I need, especially inside. It's perfect. I don't literally have to touch any of my settings at all when I record inside typically. I usually have it at like ND2 or ND16. So I have it at a really low, like the first stop or the second stop. Another pro of this filter is that it has no vignetting issues. I know a lot of filters at this price point, you know, are cheaper. A lot of them will have problems with, you know, having vignetting. And yeah, usually with cheap 
cheaper ND filters, that vignetting will just make the footage, you know, look unappealing. And yeah, it just, you know, it lowers the quality. Sometimes, you know, the vignetting will even like darken your whole image. So not only will you get that black ring around your footage, but you'll also like start, you know, your footage will get like really dark. So it's nice that this ND filter doesn't have that issue. Like a lot of other ND filters that are cheaper than this, or even ones that are the same price. But yeah, that is not what I want. And I'm glad that, you know, I don't have that issue with this filter. And the last pro that I wanted to mention is that this ND filter is very affordable. I mean, it's pretty affordable. It's only, you know, I got it for $61. So I got it on like $10 off, I think with like a coupon. But right now you can get it on Amazon for like $71. So it's still very affordable. And I would definitely, definitely recommend it. So yeah, for the price, you're getting an ND filter that'll cover a lot of your needs. You know, you won't have to raise the aperture up too much, you know, even if it's very bright outside. So that's really nice. And now I'm going to move on to the only con that I have with this variable ND filter. And that's that sometimes when I'm outside and it's really, really, you know, it's bright outside. I do, you know, typically have to raise the aperture up a little bit, like during the day, during the morning and afternoon, you know, I'll have to raise it up to like F2 or F2.8 or F3, but I like to keep my aperture at F1.4 because if you didn't know, I'm using a Sigma 16 millimeter lens and it can go down to F1.4, which is a really low aperture, lets in a ton of light. And that's what allows me to get this shallow depth of field and background blur for my videos. I wish, you know, I didn't have to raise it up at all. I wish I could keep it at F1.4 all the time because personally, I like that background blur. But, you know, to be honest, it's not always necessary. And, you know, I do end up shooting some of my shots at like F2.8 or F3. You know, sometimes it might be better to even go a little higher just to get perfect exposure for my videos. But F2.8 and F3, those aren't bad apertures. You know, it'll still let in a lot of light. You'll still get a shallow depth of field even when you're outside. It's a sacrifice I sometimes have to make, but I'm thinking of investing into like a five to nine stop variable ND filter from KNF to um, fulfill my needs when it's really bright outside and I wanna keep the aperture all the way down at F1.4. But like I said, it's not necessary. You can shoot at F2.8, F3, and you'll still get, you know, a nice shallow depth of field when you're filming outside. So I wouldn't worry about the aperture too much. You'll still get a really high quality video. A lot of people might think, oh, you need to have your aperture you know you have to have a lens that can go like to a really low aperture and you have to set it there all the time but that's not always the case you can still get high quality professional cinematic footage even at higher apertures or f-stops but anyways to wrap all of this up you definitely need an ND filter if you want to shoot during the day like I said there's nothing wrong with turning the aperture up a little bit but if you don't have an ND filter you might have to turn it up to like f12 f13 at that point you know it's gonna get really crazy crazy you're not going to get that cinematic background blur that shallow depth of field that make your videos look really high quality and yeah your footage is just not going to look as good so definitely definitely get an ND filter if you're a vlogger if you shoot outside or even if you shoot out inside I pretty much recommend this filter to everyone it's the most important filter that you can get for your camera in my opinion and if you're looking for your first one well I recommend getting the one that I have the KNF concept one to five stop it'll be in the description below but yeah I can't stress enough how important an ND filter is the mist filter that I did my last review on um it's more of like personal preference but an ND filter like this one is almost necessary if you want to shoot with daylight but yeah I hope this video and review helped you you know understand what an ND filter does and also helped you if you're looking for an ND filter for $71 you know I don't think you can go wrong with this especially since you know more expensive ND filters will run you around 150 or even close to $200 to get this filter for like half the price I think it's a steal but let me know what you guys think down in the description below if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing and turning on notifications so that you don't miss another video thanks for watching like always and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.